Welcome back to Take Action News, everybody. David Schuster here. Um, you know, in Chicago, the city of Chicago, and folks, we've got the station WCPT. Special thanks to everybody who's listening to us on our Chicago affiliate. Uh, after a year in which Chicago's death toll passed 500, the bloodshed continues there in 2013 at a rate of more than one killing a day, and most of these killings involve gun violence. And just over the last week came the just awful news that a 15-year-old drum majorette who had just returned from performing at President Obama's inauguration was shot and killed. Uh, the slangs are no longer being dismissed as just a Chicago-only story. It's uh, like a Sandy Hook Elementary School that seems to be unfolding in slow motion. Um, whether it's a, an honor student gunned down at a high school basketball game or two men in their 40s killed outside of a hamburger stand or a woman whose bullet-riddled body was just found early Friday in a van, the violence continues. And we have our own Kimon Freeman who is going to join us in just a moment to talk a little bit about a, a petition that has been started uh, to try to get some reaction from President Obama and Michelle Obama about their hometown. We do know that the president this past week, he did call and offer his condolences to the young woman's family who had, um, had where she had performed at inauguration. Her name is Hadaya Pendleton. Again, she was the promising young teen who was shot to death Tuesday as she and her friends talked uh, after school in a park. And, and by the way, this shooting of, of the drum majorette, this is only a mile a mile from President Obama's home. Joining us on the phone now is our own Kimon Freeman. He hosts Speak Easy every Monday through Friday on We Act Radio from 6 to 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Kimon, welcome to the program. Peace and blessings. Glad to be on a, a pro marijuana program. This is <laughs> That's good, good to have you. Um, Kimon, uh, tell us a little bit about the, the petition to try and get President Obama, Michelle Obama, to talk about this. Tell us about the petition, where it stands, and, and what it says. Well, first, um, uh, Dave, let me first say that um, I'm very ashamed for the first time in my life of, of uh, uh, being black in America because of the, not because of the senseless violence in this case and the the condoned um, societal view condoning violence in the assigned areas such as inner cities like this, but because uh, the most powerful black woman in the world, um, Miss Oprah Winfrey, lives in Chicago. The most powerful black man in the world, Mr. Barack Obama hometown is in Chicago. And despite that, neither one of them has done anything to address this issue. We've all seen it been going on and I for one feel that this should be the last straw. And so the petition out of frustration uh, originated um, I believe um, I, as soon as I heard about the case, uh, I wanted to do something. That was the whole premise behind We Act Radio and, and obviously Take Action News and give me an opportunity to, uh, to speak on this. Uh, but the petition started uh, Wednesday and um, uh, originated on MoveOn.org. But you have the exclusive announcement here as we are, are starting a new petition on uh, on now on MoveOn.org. So you can go to it and sign on because this started with Change.org, um, and we got a thousand, uh, nearly a thousand signatures on my own and my network. But now we have uh, the support of uh, MoveOn.org behind this, and they see the potential of this campaign, and we're trying to build a movement. I want to read from the, uh, the petition. It says, uh, Petitioning Mr. President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama address the rampant violence in Chicago. The hashtag is do something. And then below it, it says, Hadaya Pendleton, a 15-year-old girl, performed at Obama's second inaugural events, was just slain on, on the south side of Chicago after leaving school, about a mile away from the sitting president's home. And now is the time to speak out. We're talking with Kimon Freeman. Uh, Kimon, um, silence is not an option in this, is it? No, it is not. Silence is betrayal, and that's the words of uh, the late great Martin Luther King. And you know, I've gotten you know surprisingly a lot of criticism because the um, the fl the flat you know the, the the flack has been well you know the president can't do anything or what would you expect him to do? And to be honest with you, I don't expect him um, to do anything. Um, I think that we built a network. I think that we built a movement. We demand that he do something. I mean, this is the push Obama continuation that we're, we're talking about in the second term administration. So I, I, I have to say that to see the White House release photos of Obama shooting um, uh, in the midst of this uh, is just really disrespectful, in my opinion. I'm, 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 you know, the fact that um, they will um, release this now is bad timing. I don't. I think it has an, uh, a bad air of sensitivity. Um, would they have released that the same the, the next day after the, the Newtontown shooting? I, I, I really find that hard to believe. 
Uh, but to expect him to do anything after seeing the, the biggest oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico with, um, and him taking his daughter for a swim in the water, I don't really expect to see much coming from the White House, but it has to come from the ground up and build up enough noise that they have to hear it and do something about it. I look, I'm, I'm with you 100%. I mean, I think if the White House can decide that on a Saturday they feel that they need to release a picture to to show, tell the conspiracy theorists, hey, the president actually does like to shoot a weapon, he's familiar with it, then for God's sake, the president has time to issue a statement condoning what's going on in Chicago or convening a commission or doing something to get people to focus on ways that we can reduce violence in our, in our inner, inner city. 